Hey, good morning, guys. This is Frank from Addison Landing. Um, so this morning, um, Nathaniel got a uh, a call or a service request that the fridge wasn't working. They lost power. So he goes in there and he put his um, tester. I'm talking about this kind of tester right here. This is why I highly recommend to have one of these testers right here because uh, this will tell you, um, this will tell you, you know, if you have an open ground, open neutral, open hot, hot and ground reverse, which that was the case on this apartment. Okay. Uh, if you have a hot and neutral reverse, and obviously, um, the correct wiring. What's going to happen? This light, this is going to light up. Okay, it's going to tell you that you are. If these two lights come on when you plug it in, it tells you that you are correct. Okay, you're going to see it in the next video. Um, in our case, the hot uh, and the ground was reversed, so we had this light coming on. Okay, and this red light coming on right here. Okay. So we go to the apartment and um, we pull the plug. Okay, they, uh, the resident had a microwave connected to the uh, dining room outlet. And this is what we found. Uh, you know, completely burn up um, fire. So this was in the dining room and, you know, there were, there were cables uh, connected. Um, I just did this for video education purpose, but there was uh, wires connected, you know, feeding all the receptacles. I think one of them was the uh, the fridge, which I think that's wrong. You should run direct from the uh, 20 amp breaker from the back direct to your outlet for your fridge. Those are you know major appliances. You know, your fridge, your uh, this, uh, your dishwasher. You know, any of those major appliances uh, should be on it on its own 20 amp breaker uh, coming straight from the box. Um, so, but you're gonna see in part two why it's so important to have this. So, basically, what happens is we take these uh, electrical leads right here, right? We put with the meter, not with this type of meter, regular meter, and we were getting 110 volts between the neutral on the ground bad that's really really bad from here to the ground we were getting 120 nothing from the black and the white or the black and the ground zero 110 hot this was hot and it was caused by this receptacle um and a microwave connected to this outlet did this right here what could have what could have been a loose connection? Um, I think the microwave was a very old microwave that they had in there. I think there's a what caused the problem also part of the problem. But anyways, um, we took the meter and we went from here to here, and we had 120. No good. That's dangerous. So that's why important to. Have your regular meter you don't have to have an expensive meter something that you can read voltage this right here will tell you <clears throat> if your wiring is correct okay this does not tell you what kind of voltage you have if you have 120 to 40 this will not tell you that they're just going to tell you that this is uh that the wire is is correct or there's a, a open neutral which is this one broken uh, reverse uh ground neutral which is the white and the on the on the ground right here or if you have uh what's the other one uh, you have you know open hot if you know if the black is is broken um it'll tell you you have a uh, hot a neutral reverse meaning that this will be the neutral this will be the hot so it's very important um get one of these and get your meter and you will solve the problem Thank you for watching that.